All right, so here we have a, an iPhone 6S Plus solid phone. And as you can see on the battery, there's 81% battery maximum capacity. So what, what that means basically is the phone, when you connect the charger to it, on day one when it was brand new, it would charge to 100%. Now it's only charging to 81%. So when a phone is brought in that is suspected of replace of having the battery replaced, we put in the TriStar tester because sometimes it may not be the battery. It could very easily be the IC chip, the TriStar chip, or the Hydro chip. So what we do is we do a quick test. We'll show that on the screen. There we go. And it passed. So the hydro chip is fine. So we are now going to go ahead and replace the battery because that's what it came in for. We like to make sure we give everyone, including the customer, the benefit of the doubt, make sure that it's not something else. So we're just going to go ahead and power it down, put it on a hot plate for a few minutes and then soften the adhesive and then go ahead and start doing the repair. So before we put it on the hot plate, we will remove the bottom screws. That way, once it comes off the hot plate, it will be so much easier to, to get it to remove the actual adhesive. So if you notice, we do have a new driver and this is the wow stick. This is, it is really wow. <laughs> so we will be using it more of it more often. So you might see it more on the future video. So let's get, get this on the hot plate. All right, so we let it get warm enough. Now this phone does have a screen cover on it, so it might be affected by that. We'll see, otherwise we just will try to pry it. You just want to get it up enough that you can slide in. Let's see. There we go. You don't have to pry it all at once. But once that's done, you can just start sliding it through. You just want to break down the adhesive. basically what we're doing okay so once you have it open like that what we like to use when we're doing our battery replacements is I know there's people in the past that have used have just decided to just take the whole screen apart we don't like to do that we don't take the screen apart unless you really have to so this little tool here helps us keep the screen propped up without having to worry about anything else and then we can just safely remove the battery without having to worry about removing the screen and putting the screen back on so the next thing we do is re remove the battery cover so I put a little bit more light here to make it easier for us and just set your screws in a way that you'll know where they are later. This driver does make our jobs a little bit easier. So you can see that this screw is at the top. This one's closer to me. then you're going to safely disconnect your battery. You have to disconnect the battery anyway, that's what you're gonna remove. Once you have the battery disconnected, the next step is to pull that adhesive. And patience is the key because that adhesive can be stubborn at times. 
happened to us where it just didn't come out. And then we had to go into, you know, your second option, plan B, plan C. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot and see what happens. So what you wanna do is peel back on this, these adhesive tabs. And like I said, this adhesive is very, very, very stubborn. Sometimes it does not want to come out. It does not want to cooperate. And then again, there's always other steps that you can take to get it out. But first thing you want to do is just remove it. Remove the tabs at least so you can get a starting point. You need a starting point to do this. And of course, on the bigger iPhone 6S Plus, the 6 Plus, the 7 Plus, and the 8 Plus all have three adhesive strips, so it makes it a little bit more of a challenge. But now that we got these tabs out, we'll just get something like this driver where we get it to bite. Let's see if we can get it to bite. And I just like to turn it. And then just kind of pull and turn lots of patience like I said it might not come out it's happened before it would not be our first time but you do need to have patience First one is out, let's try the one in the middle. Hopefully it will cooperate like the first one did. It may not, we will see. The one in the middle did not want to cooperate, so I'm just going to jump right into the one on the other side, see what happens. Like I said, you can't panic. You have to be patient and see what happens. They do become brittle over time. As these batteries heat up, they, this adhesive becomes see, harder to come out. So. What is plan B? This guy, and let's see what else I have here. I might have some other tools that I've used in the past. This one also. So the good thing is we pried out this one here, so at least on this side there's no adhesive, but what you do is you get yourself some 99% alcohol, and you're going to get it in there just like I'm doing here this dries quickly just make sure your battery's disconnected and let us sit there for a little bit and then we start prying So we got our prying tool in there and we're just going to try to get it as deep as we can. You can also get some more alcohol in there this way. Helps loosen up the adhesive. It's not a small task by any stretch, so but little by little it'll come out.
Okay, so there's your battery. You want it to come out as thin as possible. You don't want to cause any damage to the battery. And the thinner it comes out, the better. So do use lots of patience. It may test your patience, but you just want to do it the right way. You don't want to have any issues. Then you can just take out this remaining adhesive tape. We'll clean it up and get the new battery in there. This alcohol dissolves like super quick. But if there is any left in there, you can just wipe it down. And that's it. As you can see, we didn't have to remove the screen and the, the strips did not come out nicely like we wanted them to, but there is a plan B. You just gotta have the right tools. You gotta have 99% alcohol because it does evaporate super quick. And there's our battery with the adhesive strips on there already. So the next step is just putting it back in. So one important aspect that we should mention is you need to transfer the data from your old battery, the Apple battery, into the replacement battery because otherwise when you click on battery health with the replacement battery it will tell you that it needs to be serviced. So it's something that Apple does to I guess prevent people from going anywhere else but Apple. So what you do is you connect your battery to the programmer, it lights up, you press read, it'll start reading. Once it says it's successful, then you can take the old battery out. And we're just going to transfer the data over the same way. So basically now we just connect the new battery. And I should have done this while it was in my hand, but you can still do it. Just connect it to the connector. And once we get it in there, So there, we just hit the right button right here, where it's gonna write the information to it. And it says, successful. So it's already been transferred over. This is something that you need to have done because with the new iOS updates with Apple, they have made it so much difficult for people to have their batteries replaced and Pretty much they only want to be the ones doing it. And then of course, your bottom screws. Can't forget that, very important. We're totally glad we have this uh, wild stick. If you haven't seen our previous video where we unboxed it, this is the tool right here. So once you've put the phone completely together, obviously this battery was not all the way up as far as battery percentage left. So you wanna check your battery just to make sure that what you did with the programmer worked. So it should show 100% capacity, which it does. So that's telling you right there that the programmer worked and we have a brand new 100% battery health battery in this iPhone 6S Plus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to post any comments, please do so below. Thank you for watching.